Hey, what's up guys, Wicked Android HD here and uh, I'm back with uh, this full customization of uh, my friend's S3, Marianne's S3 and uh, this is looking very very cool indeed because I customize it to the maximum level of uh, balance between performance and uh, beautiful look like as you may see so we have here transparent lock screen you can customize it and I'm gonna show you that in the following minutes so here we have five lock screen shortcuts so uh, when you slide for example from uh, this to right you'll get into camera mode okay very nice indeed and uh, let me show the other the other lock screens okay so we have facebook whatsapp facebook messenger and slide right to unlock so i know this looks exactly like mine that's what he wanted initially to look uh, to have a phone that looks exactly like mine so i installed a few apps that uh, i consider uh, to be very useful as you may see i have some beautiful animations while scrolling berry life is awesome believe me guys i'm gonna show you right now here in a berry section so it's been running for 8 hours 43 minutes in standby and, and it's 93 percent with Wi-Fi on of course let me turn the brightness a little bit down to show you guys more details okay and uh, this is running uh, Slimcat version 9 stable as I'm gonna be showing you right now Slim version 4.4.4 build 9 official it is based on 4.4.4 uh, KitKat and uh, along with the, the Agni kernel which I'm gonna configure right now in order to uh, make it very smooth by selecting the ZZ Move Zane Z Perf, which stands for perfect. So it's a perfect governor. As you may see we have uh, Agni main profile selection. So we have Extreme Berry Save, Berry Save, Agni Normal, Normal Activate of Gaming. Right now it's set on gaming, but uh, it's not really loaded up. This is one of a kind, uh, for example just customizes uh, a few features but uh, uh, I selected this profile and uh, also customize other features from here so it's not really showing how it should on gaming mode um, I had uh, three requ requests from, from Marianne and uh, both were related to games and so I installed Hearthstone and uh, OSM Hearthstone is working uh, decent as I'm gonna show you right here I had to customize the DPI and make it uh, work on a small screen but uh, it's working decent you should take in mind that this was uh, released for a mo more powerful device than this uh, S3 so it's gonna take a while to load up but uh, I've, I have searched a lot of YouTube videos about this and it was uh, behaving the same as you may see now smooth animations so it says touch to start so if we press here it will pop up with like this welcome to the end okay but uh, we're not gonna be playing this right now because uh, we're getting into home screen again again it takes a lot of RAM this game and uh, yeah Again, a quick shortcut for you, Marianne, to see, and for other guys, I set it to double tap to clear memory, RAM memory. And as you may see right now, here we have 380 megabytes of free RAM, which is awesome for a 800 um, <coughs> megabytes RAM device, because um, this is the big minus of for this uh, S3 is that. Uh, it uh, benefits of uh, a one gig gigabyte RAM and uh, 
that sucks because uh, even the small slimmed out ROM will cost you some 400 ROM megabytes of ROM and yeah that's pretty nasty but the device is looking pretty well I have also installed Viper for Android FX in order to get the ultimate uh, audio experience with this device some usual application like real calculator which you're gonna need if you want to do math calculations a messaging app very simple stock um, quick pick alternative for the full gallery Facebook and all our social messaging applications Gmail, Yahoo Mail, Google Keep in order to keep all your photos here we have some games and uh, here we have this exposed module which allows you to customize your lock screen so if you wanna select for example a custom image as a lock screen wallpaper all you need to do is to go into quick pick and select which one you want for example I will choose this for example and I'm gonna be setting this up okay and now in lock screen you will be about to see the wallpaper itself which looks pretty awesome if you ask me really nice you know look like you can uh, slide down the notification to means you I have set up a custom wallpaper even on lock only notification bar so yeah also the clock is a widget you can add as many widgets as you want by sorry by sliding here and click and add what uh, widget you'd like to have on the lock screen it's itself so I'd rather go for this see-through because it gives me a a I don't know how to say it but more stylish stylish, stylish look you know you see through your, through your lock screen actually and yeah um, so the main fact of this ROM is that it is behaving much faster than a Samsung Stock 1. Um, you will see some lags from time to time and that's because of every Android phone. Uh, you will see some lags of course. But uh, in comparison with uh, the old, the old uh, Samsung Stock based ROM, this is a beast, believe me guys. And uh, it will perform way faster. I forgot to customize this keyboard uh, I have also installed a module to buy um, to hack in up pur purchases for example it, it says unlock pro so if, if I press here lucky Petra will give me and you'll have to press yes in order to unlock actually hack the in-app purchases menu from Google Play Store and uh, I will select as a foreground color this black and uh, let's see if it uh, does work okay so this is whitish right now the keyboard is white but I'm gonna invert the colors right now so this is the the recent tab menu so we're gonna go into sorry flat style keyboard and we're gonna select this as a black one and this as a white one so right now let's see okay right now it's a black keyboard of course which fits the best with this uh, the real dark slim option from here you can customize whatever you want from interface as I told you lock screen berry icon if you don't like this secret little berry icon and yeah you will get used to it so as you may see no lag in scrolling as I told you you will notice some lags from time to time and you see that uh, I'd rather prefer not uh, cleaning memory the cleaning the memory by double pressing the screen on the main screen uh, will uh, clear the app clear all the apps and uh, I don't know if you really want this but in case of emergency you just uh, will press and it will go faster it will but it will also consume more battery since uh, it kills all the apps and the apps will auto start again and again 
and um, that that's the main um, inconvenience if you inconvenient. Um, again, if you'd like your device to be more responsive, I set up this for you. For example, you can customize your low memory killing memory free and it says to uh, aggressive, but you can set to very aggressive. You can um, charge your device way faster by selecting 1500 milliamperes but I set up to 1000 because it is a stock default one okay touch wake is set up to off I don't want a touch wake but if you want just to press it knock it the, you know you have some different settings here you would uh, be very keen to try them touch boost is set up to one uh, Eight, uh, eight, uh, 800 megahertz to give you more responsive more responsiveness ZRAM size to actually it will kind of virtually increase the RAM size to make your device run much smoother you have here some headphone volume hacks speaker volume stereo expansion and uh, yeah but uh, I'd rather prefer configuring from this Viper application as you may see I set up the animations to be fading while opening an app for example let's open Play Store and it will fade out yeah I don't have any Google accounts yeah phone how to import your contact from your SIM just go here import export and you'll receive a pop-up pop-up okay and um, that's not uh, a thing to be worried about since you have a Google account and all your contacts are synced in there. Let's talk about these tools here. So here you have your own personal personal picture. You can customize it by going here. So Marianne, this is the Wi-Fi toggle along with the mobile network, the sound modes, vibrate sound sound and vibrate and uh, silent settings app brightness battery battery mode battery shortcut actually bluetooth location 2g mode or 3g mode it uh, uh, let me tell you again a cool feature so i have customized this phone in order to uh, do like this so when you close the wi-fi and turn off your mobile data for example to you no know, to when you're on subway or while you're in the car and you just turn off your mobile data it will automatically let me show you and actually no because you it's not my data plan so it automatically changes from 2G to 3G and back and forth when you activate Wi-Fi it automatically converts to 2G in order to consume less battery so torch working perfectly as you may see rotation Sync synchronizing means that you will uh, sync all the all your contacts. Make sure you uh, have this on while uh, while uh, setting up a Google account. And uh, immersive mode, for example, if you don't want the status bar and you just want a simple phone like this, all you have to do is to press this one. If you don't want, if you want the status bar, make sure you uncheck that uh, that feature. So yeah. That was kind of the same. Here we have some shortcuts. All this speedometer, in case you'd like to know how fast you're going with your new Skoda Octavia. <laughs> and um, YouTube application Viral Pro, Pro. This is an application that allows you to watch YouTube videos, for example, in a minimized. Uh, okay. In a minimized window, for example okay like this and you can watch it uh, while for example downloading an app from Google Play Store yeah you know you can close it sorry it's very hard to manipulate behind the camera and yeah you'll have uh, as you can see how many apps there are open here you can close them by swiping left 
and uh, as you may see I've been using this phone a lot with the brightness and it's only 90% and was I think it was 94-93% when I started the video and this is very very nice yeah really really nice raw okay guys so that was it for today I hope you like it if you did please thumbs up and subscribe again shout out to my friend Marian for lending me his uh, his uh, Galaxy S3 beautiful white Galaxy S3 really nice architecture I'm gonna be putting this into his uh, flip cover it looks very cool yeah really nice and smooth I I accidentally opened the Facebook Messenger app and it's not really configured so that's why it starts like this so welcome to Facebook Messenger no I don't like it okay so we're gonna close all the apps right now because we're not gonna need them and uh, okay so that was it for today. Again, I hope you like it. If you did, please thumbs up and subscribe to my channel. Uh, Wicked Android is out, guys. Bye bye.